So I get message from one of the roommates that he found something off of the side of the road and he sent me this video. So this fucking thing, first of all, that's like a 90 degree, and I don't think it's marble. I mean, it looks like marble, but I think it's uh, soapstone. So it's like super easy probably to uh, to grind through, but you can see like, what the fuck? And then this guy looks like it was going to be a tree stump, candle holder, I don't know. And then more candle holders, obviously, dual candle holders. This one's uh, perfectly square, it's weird. And then started finding all these like book shapes that are probably just the roughs that he then chiseled this kind of like book edge into and then put the words in later and you can see where it might have, might have fallen apart there. But this one, you can just see the the book edge, but you can also see where they, he was starting to scribe out the, like on a Bible, kind of. Mm -hmm. So that one's cool, I really like that one. Another rough one here. With the book, probably broke and gave up. And then this little guy. What the fuck, like, it's crazy. And then there's other roughs that looks like they didn't break off evenly enough for him to, to keep. And this is probably a plug that he was chipping and it would chip off into one of these. And then, you know, I don't know how this one got in the mix, but some quartz, very smooth. Another big piece of quartz was in the hole with it. And there's, there's, uh, ton more of these and these and these and a bunch of these like roughs that we left in the hole and, and hid and buried so we're going to go back but these two I just there's a gouge in it there there's a little like I don't know gouge on this side it's square as a motherfucker well and then this one same thing like what in the actual fuck so that's when I was like, okay, I'm taking all this shit home. Excuse so. the uh, shoddy video. I'm filming my my screen on my computer. Um, but as you can tell, they're talking about Garden of the Gods. And uh, back in, it became a park in 1909. Entrepreneurs found ways to profit from the park. Semi-permanent refreshment stands popped up near the gateway rocks and itinerant curio dealers set up tripod stands or tents to sell souvenirs. Uh, you can see that white stuff right there at the front. That's all gypsum. Um, the first large formation encountered when entering Garden of the Gods from the eastern entrance. So these guys were chipping off this white gypsum soapstone and making souvenirs out of it. Uh, 
popular was a tree stump toothpick holder. Uh, as early as 1879, gypsum that saw white stone was mined from the formation called White Rock. A variety of artists carved the gypsum into pocket-sized figures, including books, crosses, and tree stump toothpick holders, as well as larger carved animal figures. The phrase Garden of the Gods was carved into the soft stone, while the date of the purchase was added later. So the one we saw earlier that said 1914 is indeed from 1914. You can see some examples right there. Um, and apparently there's two different artists. So one wrote it like this and one wrote it like this. So that's the two different artists. So I believe we have this artist's final collection. Um, I don't have any of this stuff. However, I have a piece that could be this back leg area here. Um, and then that shows just some pictures and blah, 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 blah. But you can see there the Garden of the Gods, 1915. Apparently that was the last year because they opened a uh, hotel, the Hidden Inn, and, uh, in 1915. And that stopped all the souvenir sales. You can see the, the books and the tree stump carving there. There's some more of them. Uh, and there was also an Indian. So, so this is what I got. Not to mention pretty much every piece of rock in the hole that this stuff was found in was this gypsum. So I think this was her stash of gypsum for uh, statues. You can see a lot of it's already been pre-chunked and carved, but mainly what you'll see is these kind of take shape. I have a setup here, like so. She was probably getting someone to bore and then cut these for her in town maybe. And then she would chip away at it and then eventually start to get this kind of tree trunk looking texture. And then you'd end up with this, more or less. It's probably also not finished, hence why it didn't sell. And then, the books, you can tell she was chipping these off in blocks and getting these ingots, kind of, to then sit down and start carving into the books. And then once you get Garden of the Gods carved into it, you could add the year at any point. So you could stock up on these and have a bunch of them. And then obviously, where did it go? I got these two. That one's starting to get carved a little. That one's carved. I've got a bunch of carved ones there. And then, yeah, this one is starting to get carved out, but this one has the actual lines around the edges. And I wanna say they started on the words, but messed up or it chipped. So, oh, there's lines on the back too. So yeah, I am going to, uh, probably contact the owner of that website and see if they have any interest in this. I'm sure the Garden of God's uh, Historical Society or whatever it's called probably has an interest in it, but they most likely would want me to donate it all, which I'm not a big fan of, uh, especially since this was literally just feet off the side of the road and nobody found it in a hundred years, uh, over a hundred years. So I don't know. Uh, message me if you have any information about this type of stuff or if you yourself have ever seen these souvenirs before or know anybody that would be interested in the whole collection as a, uh, a display somewhere. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, what the fuck? Unbelievable.